Oh yeah. Yep, this will do just fine. So I found these Ikea bucket hats on the Ikea website when I was reordering some bags earlier this week. They came in and I am just tickled with how it looks. I mean, it's really dumb, but it's so fun. I think actually I'm gonna do a giveaway for one of these things later on in the video, so stick around for that. But the main order of business today is I've been noticing that pawn shops around me have consistently had almost little or no video game inventory. And this is definitely a problem because pawn shops are one of the main ways that I source inventory. So I've been asking myself, what other niche I could potentially branch into that would help me make up some of that lost volume. So what I'm gonna be doing today is attempting to branch into the DVD niche for resale on Amazon and eBay, seeing if I can come away with some decent profits from the same places that I normally source, these pawn shops. I'm still gonna be looking for video games, but I'm mainly gonna be focusing on DVDs and Blu-rays to see if I can come up with some profit that way. And I think this will prove a very worthwhile experiment because being able to roll with the punches and adapt your business model to the current market is a massive trait of highly successful resellers. It's something that I had to do back in my book selling days when I was starting to find less and less books at Goodwills and something that I also did in May, shifting a little bit more to online arbitrage when I started to not be able to find as much video game stuff in pawn shops as well. And I'm actually gonna be using some tactics from my old book selling days as well. I've got my handy dandy wrist strap as well as an e-yo-yo barcode scanner I'm gonna be using to go rapid fire on these DVDs. And we're gonna see how much profit we can find today with this little bad boy. So let's get into it. All right, folks, so I am posted up here outside of Dan's Discount Jewelry, one of my favorite pawn shops. I've got myself rigged up here to a uh, wrist strap and also have that barcode scanner I mentioned. The way that I do this is like as I'm pulling stuff off the shelf, I'll just be scanning the barcodes as I go along. I'll try to show a little bit of that if I can, if it's not too socially awkward. And I have this app here, I don't know if you can see it, called Scout IQ, that's actually designed for books, but I'm gonna use it for uh, video games and DVDs here that will basically tell me the estimated profit on Amazon as I'm going through these DVDs and hopefully I'll find some hits that have some good resale value. Well folks, that was an amazing stop. Let me show you guys what I got. So $130 spent total at this stop. Got a good variety of stuff. Starting off, I did find a uh, 3DS in pretty good condition for $50, which is pretty solid. Should be able to get 100 after fees for that. These were the DVDs and uh, DVD sets that I ended up finding. I paid $8 for all of these combined. Uh, this one's brand new sealed. Uh, this one I think was going for like over 20. This one was in like the $15 range. This one I think was over 20 as well, so some solid finds in there. And then actually picked up a good number of video games at this stop, definitely more than I normally do. Uh, Pac-Man Party, that's like a $9 game, plus Wii Sports, those were two bucks each. And then a decent number of PS3 and one sealed Xbox 360 game. This in new condition goes for like 30. These were all three a piece. Uh, so this one is just like a double up. Uh, these Pac-Man games, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, uh, one and two actually are decent bolos. This one goes for over 20 and this one is actually in like the $40 range even though it's a slower seller. So keep an eye out for those as well. And then I found this really cool Japanese game. This also is a slower seller. It looks like a Gundam uh, themed game. Uh, but was going for over 30 as well. So I'm having some really solid ROIs on these games. And then the biggest section which <laughs> before I never would have even checked was the Blu-rays. So got this Alien Anthology. This was the most expensive, paid 10 for that. Should be at least a double up. Um, Captain America 3 Movie Collection, I paid six for this and it's going for over 20. The Man of Steel Steel Book Edition, uh, going for like 40. It doesn't have the slip cover, so maybe slightly less, but I paid, you know, $3 for that. 
two bucks for this Jurassic World, um, which also is going for over 20. This one was kind of surprising. That's like maybe seven bucks or so uh, after fees paid $2. And then all these titles as well. So honestly, I'm pretty blown away by what we were able to come away with from this stop. Scanning DVDs and Blu-rays, it took way longer than it normally did, which is kind of to be expected when you are learning a new niche. It's going to take longer than you're normally used to. But this profit at this stop was really excellent. I mean, I spent 130. I wouldn't be surprised if the profit ends up being north of $250. Uh, not surprised at all. So yeah, excellent stop here and uh, we're gonna see if we can keep this momentum going. All right, my second stop of the day here is Castle Pawn and Jewelry. Normally I have to be pretty selective with what I buy in here. They're not known for having the best prices, but we'll see if the same holds true for their uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. So let's go check it out. So just got out of there. I spent probably an hour and a half in Castle uh, Jewelry and Pawn scanning everything it took way longer than it normally does but folks check that out it was totally worth it i got a huge bag of stuff and their prices were actually surprisingly good i think they're really overloaded on this stuff so check all this out <laughs> so many goodies i actually spent about 60 dollars on all this stuff and i got a lot of like blu-ray seasons and stuff like that a good number of repeats actually what i got definitely the most of was lost season one uh they actually made a deal for me that their all of their seasons uh they gave me for three dollars their blu-ray seasons which is a pretty solid deal given that these are going for like 20 bucks a piece on amazon right now so call it maybe like 12 or so after fees so really solid margin on those check that out just lost the game <laughs> Then I got a whole bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, for example, I got all of these Friends seasons. Regular DVD seasons were actually only a dollar. So I picked up like five of those and I'm gonna try to complete the whole series. I got a couple copies of Bring It On, the complete series of V. I think any complete series are probably going to be worth scanning. Um, got the uh, Apprentice complete first season. Wonder why that's doing well right now. Uh, the Sopranos season six, that was three as well. And it goes for like 10 or so after fees. Um, so just like some really solid uh, bread and butter pickups here. They're, most of them are gonna sell fairly quickly. This was a slower seller. Uh, Jim Gaffigan will sell a little bit slower, but on the whole, really happy with this stop and i would say once everything sells pretty conservatively i say i'd say i'm probably looking at like 150 dollars profit so cannot complain at all for like an hour and a half of work i think that's a really good return on that time investment and i'm going to be getting faster and faster as i get better at spotting uh trends in dvds that are most common and uh, obviously not worth much because the supply is really high for some reason there are just a ton of blacklist season threes out there who knows why uh, and there are a lot of other trends like that that are going to make me pretty efficient as i learn more and more but i would honestly highly recommend this niche whether you do sell on amazon i think that's like the marketplace where there's the highest potential but even for ebay especially if you can get these things cheap i think there's a lot of potential there as well for flipping blu-rays just like these online but anyway, it is 6.41 right now. I gotta go get some groceries and head back to my wife. This has been a really fun afternoon of learning though. Uh, really happy with probably around a $400 profit on everything that I got today in just a couple stops. So that's a really solid ratio for the amount of time that I spent. I'm really happy with that. And as I promised, I'm gonna be giving away one of these fancy new hats. I did wear this the entire time in the pawn shops today. Probably got a few strange looks, but I couldn't see them because this obstructs my peripherals. And by the way, I should say that one of the best features of these puppies is I realized you actually can bend up the edges all the way to the front here and put it into IKEA fedora mode, which if there's anything classier than an IKEA bag bucket hat, it's got to be an IKEA bag fedora hat. So it's very versatile. <laughs> so if you want me to send you one of these bad boys in the mail, just uh, like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let me know in the comments what the last movie you watched was. So anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you. <laughs> Let's try that again. on the flip.